Hello, this is Xingru. In this video, I will introduce a very important concept in JavaScript that is prototype. In JavaScript, every object, nearly every object has prototype. Has, so prototype is another object that every object linked to and uh, except for those primitive uh, variables for example an uh, integers um, they are they don't have prototype but uh, those reference variables for example an object or array or other things they all have a prototype and uh, those objects who has a prototype can can call the functions inside the prototype if if the uh, function with the same na uh, same name cannot be found inside uh, um, those objects itself so it is very difficult to explain what uh, um, prototype is, but I will I will show you in code. So, for example, I opened a console in my Google Chrome, and uh, what I will do is I will define a variable, and this variable will be a an array. So I just call it array and give it the name. As you can see, I have defined it before just uh, to make it uh, a new variable. I can just define it as test, and uh, this variable is an array and has one, two, three integers inside the array. And if you look into this variable, you see this is an array, but if you do test dot, you can see all those functions you can call. But uh, as you know, array is an object, and when we create the array, we didn't create any other functions along with it. But why can we call those functions? So it is because the uh, because the prototype of an array. So in this case, I'll just call one function, which is to string. And as you can see, the console returns me the value of a string that consists of 1, 2, and 3. And uh, so how, how does this work is that uh, if we just uh, run the reference of this uh, variable test, and uh, we scroll down the test and you can see in this array we have uh, three items 0, o, 2 and we also have a length property which is 3 and uh, we have another thing that is this proto so this proto means prototype and uh, this is the prototype for array because this test uh, variable is an array and if we uh, open this span this um, proto and we can see all those functions including the functions that we called which is to string as you can see is here and uh, apart from to string function you can see all the functions like uh, this uh, find function and find index function so you can uh, you can call all those functions when you are dealing with array because they are from the prototype and uh, in javascript when you uh, you can call the objects you can call the objects um, with the functions outside of the objects as long as the object is uh, linked with a prototype and in that prototype there is the function 
so let's uh, just try another um, function inside the prototype. For example, if I call find index, and this is also a very common function. And find index can help you to find the index of um, a specific uh, um, condition. So inside this find index, you can give a uh, another function that uh, accept uh, a, a parameter and it will start define the conditions you trying to find. So for example, in this case, I want to find uh, 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 I want to find the index of uh, item three, so I just uh, do when I just uh, create this uh, function inside of this find index. I just say, and as long as the the number is three, then you will give me the index of that number. So. Here, so as I call this function, and uh, for some reason it returned me. Okay, let me just check. So one, two, three, one, two, three. When I call this function, it returned me minus one. Okay, never mind. Let's just try another simpler version of this function. That is index of. I think you can find it here. So index of. So index of will do the same thing except it can only find a specific item. So if I do index of three, and as you can see, it returns me the index of three, so it's two. So. So now we know an. Um, Every object has prototype, and uh, we can call those functions in prototypes. And, uh, and now I'm going to introduce you. So, so the way that uh, the so the way the function calling in JavaScript uh, is that uh, it will start searching for the name of the function. So it will first. Uh, searching for the for the function itself for the for the object itself to see if there's a function with the same name and then it will start searching for the prototype and then it will start searching for for the prototype of the prototype so it's like a chain of events so if you look at uh, this array this test array you can find out uh, there's the prototype and inside the prototype there's a second layer prototype and and there are those functions so you you can also call those functions if there uh, if there are no function with the same name uh, found in the in the previous layer so for example as you can see both layer has the function to string but uh, their functionality is different. So this two string in second layer, it will it will not return the it will not convert the array to a string. It's the it's a general function for for any object, but it will will call the uh, two string on the first layer because it. Uh, because there is a chain, so it, it calls the first layer first, and then then it search for the second layer. So. So after we know that, then, but if, on the first layer you you cannot find, another. Uh, you cannot find the function with the same name, then you can, call the function on the second layer. For example. This has own property only exists uh, in the uh, second layer. So, but we can still call it. So we will only refer to the second layer. So, for example, if I do a um, test dot has own property, as you can see, 
we can call this function and it returns me false. So now I'm going to teach you how to um, how to create your own property. So the way you create your own property, there are multiple methods, but one method I think is the easiest method is that you can use the constructor. So for example, if we want to add one property, if we want to add one function in the pro prototype uh, in this test, so what we can do is just do test constructor dot um, property or oh, sorry prototype dot so we can add our our function so for example I can say just say print out function so I create this brand new function and uh, create this brand new function and just console log new property in prototype so it will just print out that and uh, so now the now the new function in the prototype it has been created now we can just call the function so we can call it as test dot and print out so as you can see it print out a new property in prototype so now if we just look into the test variable and we open the prototype we can see the first function is print out this is the new function we created so from what I know the the prototype of the object they are another object so basically you can you can create a brand new prototype for an, for an object so for example here if I create a new proto and uh, I can in this new proto I can do new print and uh, in this new print I define it as a function this function will just console.log a new printer new print function for brand new prototype and as you can see I created a I created an object at the moment so how so I can set the prototype of the object and um, to the to the test so I just do test constructor dot um, prototype equals to new proto so so as you can see I have set the the, the prototype so now if I look into the test and I look into the prototype you can see there's a new project so if I do um, test.newprint so it doesn't exist so maybe you can't add it this way but there are other methods for example and um, set set prototype so let me just uh, quickly find it set prototype of i believe there's this function you can use so in this function you can set the prototype of an object to a prototype so if we try that, so we do test dot set prototype. I'm sorry, maybe I just need to set prototype. So this is object dot. 
I need to refer to object dot set prototype of the value and so the object should be test and the prototype should be new proto and as you can see I have set the prototype of the test to new proto now if I look into the prototype there's only new print and now if I just run <coughs> run this um, print so the function is new print. So if I just run new print, it will give me the result. It will return the string. And now I now I can't call those um, functions. For example, we called before like like uh, index of three or something. As you can see, I can't call those function anymore because the prototype of this array has been changed. So, uh, from what I know, in in web development, you don't really need to deal with prototype a lot. But it will be helpful if you understand the understand the theory and mechanism behind the prototype, and uh, it it can be handy when when you're coding.